Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to a lovely, crisp Sunday morning. Now, I'm at uh, Lower Moor Farm Nature Reserve today. I'm going up to the hide where I've been um, capturing the kingfisher. That's my aim today, just to see how it's getting on and uh, see if there's more than one there. So that's the plan for today. Of course, I've set out for a goal. It doesn't always turn out that way, as we all know. So I'm going to make my way up to the hide. Got the Nikon D7500 and the 100-400 Sigma Contemporary on, and I've got already attached the uh, teleconverter as well, the 1.4 TC1401 teleconverter attached to that as well. Um, I've bought my my shoulder bag today. Didn't bring a rucksack. I have bought my um, tripod, but that's in the car. I've bought my gimbal head and my affectionately called fry pod. <laughs> yes, you heard right. A fry pod. So I attach my gimbal head to a um, upturned frying pan and just to give me some something to rest my camera on when I'm in the hide. So anyway, I'm going to walk up there. It's not far and I'll see you later. Well, I've made it to the bird hide. It's a little bit overgrown. Obviously it would be, it'd be in spring. And the last time I came here. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes, to be honest with you. Got little birds flitting about the trees. So while I'm waiting for the kingfishers, I'll take pictures of them. But yeah, it is slightly overgrown actually. Can't see down the bank to the water's edge like I could last time. Um, it's just obscured, but I can still still get the perches where the, uh, apart from the one that's directly down there in front, I can still see the other perches where the kingfisher sits. Hopefully, it will sit over there, on a big branch over there. So anyway, I want to sit here and bide my time, and I'll bring you back later. So it's twenty past nine now. I've been in there for two hours, 20 minutes, and nothing, absolutely, well, I've had a chiff chaff up in that tree, long tailed tit over there, and a blue tit over there. I've all taken pictures of them, but no kingfishers. <coughs> I've had a great spotted woodpecker fly across, and I've had a green woodpecker over in a tree over there. But I couldn't get that shot of the green woodpecker too far off. I know something's bloody cold in here. It's nice and warm out the front when the sun's beating down. I've had to go out here it's sort of like half an hour just to warm myself up. But I should bide my time and sit here and wait for it to come. It's just a waiting game. There's nothing else you can do. Anyway, I'll catch you later. So I've got me a heron, right over in the tree opposite. Let's see if we can take a picture of that one. to move to the next window. The heron moved on to a lower branch. 
So I had to sit there and take some pictures, which I've done. I put them all up on screen for you. But not got what I come here for. Hopefully it will appear. Anyway, catch you later. So I've got me the helen that's come off the tree up there, down onto the bank just down here. And he's feeding. He's stalking, he's getting little fish out of the uh, at the little pond here. I've got some shots of him going down in to feed. Hoping to just come out because I'm shooting through a load of uh, grass to get to focus on him. So I've had to manually focus it. Oh, what's going on? You seen something? So you can see I've got my fingers here, this thumb. It's on the focus. Because I'm shooting through grass, so the camera keeps them um, focusing on the grass. So I'm going to focus it as good as I can also. And then manually focus it. Like, like this. There we go, it's going in. onto the little bank just in front of me, so he's going to go for something. I want his breakfast, or his lunch. Well the heron now is um, on the other side of the bank now. Just so you, you can see him through the reed, reed beds. It's not very thick over there to be fair. But He's um, still trying to catch his dinner. He's been successful so far. He's caught three fish. I mean, it's amazing. They just still, they say, statue still. They look in the water. Wait for something to come along. And go down and grab it. Like he has done now. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Well, the kingfisher didn't arrive, but at least I got the heron came down off the tree and started feeding. It's a bonus, I suppose. Right. Anyway, I'm going to uh, sit here for a while and I'll catch you later. Wow, yeah, so there we go. I've had a bit of a session with the heron. 
didn't get the kingfish here like I wanted to, but never mind. You know what I mean? So doesn't matter. There's other times. I've been here twice before, like I said, and I've caught it. So the heron was uh, up in that tree. It was up in that tree when I came here the first time, but it never came off that tree. But this time I've got it flying down onto the uh, island here, feeding off the island and then across the lake. And I've got quite a bit of video with the Nikon just here. So I think um, just seeing him stalking his food on the other side of the, the pond here, just behind the reeds, it's actually fascinating to see. And I've, got, I've got some video of that. But yeah, I've been here since seven. It's coming up to 10 past one. Six hours is enough. I'm going home, make my way back to the car, have some dinner and a couple of beers. But as always, I'll keep the camera in my hand, see what I get on the way back. So I'm gonna pack all this gear away and I'll see you in a bit. So like I said, never put your camera away on the way back to your car. So I've just had a cormorant come out of the water and it's drying its wings off over there. I took a video of it, a very shaky video. <laughs> My dear God, but I'll, I'll let you see it anyway. And uh, yeah, it's uh, turned out to be a really glorious day today. What's that over there? It's crested grebe, great crested grebe. There's a lot of them about here as well. Right. I'm going to continue on my way back to the car, see what else we find. So what did I get from the hide to the car? Well, I've got me the cormorant drying itself off and also a great crested grebe right in close. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. Didn't get what I wanted, but I've got an array of other wildlife from butterflies to dragonflies and uh, all the different bird species I got as well. So anyway, it has been an eventful day, even though I didn't get the kingfisher, but never mind. There will be other times. With that, I say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.